Ooh, it's hazy. Let me wipe the lens. Nah, I just still look like shit. Hey guys, how you doing? So, what are we doing today? Real quick, we're gonna put in... We'll put, I can't even fucking talk. I've been talking so much on camera. We're gonna put cams in my motor. This is my 2011 through 14 F-150 motor. We're gonna go ahead and take all this stuff off. Take the cam covers off. Take the front timing cover off. And show you how to replace cams in 11 to 14 Coyote engines. 8mm, take the coils off. <laughs> Remove the coils. Yeah. 10mm. Once you take the cam covers off, this is what you see. Four cams. Yes, LS guys. There's four cams in these guys. And these are the phasers. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace the cams with Mustang GT cams. The only difference between F-150 cams and Mustang cams are the intake cams suck on the F-150. But I'm gonna go ahead and replace all four just to make sure because I don't know how long some of this stuff has been sitting around. I want to make sure I get just four good cams that came off an illuminator and we should be good to go. Now it's time to take the front timing cover off. Let's go ahead and do that. Water pump. Wrong way. Oh, actually, right way. Boy, that's in there. Had to get these guys loose by hand first because they were on there. No bullshit. All right, let's keep on trucking. Okay, after taking the crank uh, pulley off, I'm gonna take all these bolts out to get the timing cover off. 10, 10, so, 10. a 13 and three tens? Yeah. Great, got a little Ford on an F-150 engine. So don't forget the bolts on the bottom, guys. If you're doing it from inside the car, gotta get to these guys to get the timing cover off. <laughs> there she is in all her glory. How's that looking? Like shit, Joe? Did I buy a fucking lemon? <laughs> this tension doesn't seem to be very active. Is this one still, still pretty springy? That one is not springy? No. Hmm. Looks like I might have to be replacing some parts. Yeah, the I'd think about it. Hold it. So spin it clockwise until the keyway is at the 12 o'clock position according to the Ford installer support site. Grab it. Do your thing. Okay. So just get that bolt loose and then bring this one all the way out. That way it pivots on this bolt while it swings okay. instead of it pivoting the other way. Mm -hmm. So basically that's your chain tensioner? Yep. There you go. Good bolt. It's going to rain. You're right. You ain't kidding. Set that in the middle. And next time you guys get asked why you get charged so much for, do cam for doing cams in a car, it's because you got to do all this shit. Don't be like, well, why is the shop charging me 500 bucks? Because all this shit has to happen. And then we got to rotate the engine over. We'll check the, the spec. I think it's like 5 o'clock. Okay. And then we undo this side, and then we can pull the tensioners off both sides, swap the cams, throw the tensioners, or not tensioners, the phasers and the tensioners back on mm -hmm. and retime it. So now we're going to go ahead and rotate counterclockwise until the key way or the key is in the nine o'clock position. 
What about mine? I can't tell. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Yeah, you're right at nine. Okay. Mm -hmm. I guess Ew. Oh, that shit. Keep them from getting flipped, and then make sure that they go back in the same position on the head. Okay. So what I do with that is I... So this cam cap cannot end up over here. Exactly, and this cam cap can't end up like this. I mean, flipped. One side is shaped to clear the okay. like spark plug tube. Mm -hmm. But I've the seen flat side up, flat side down, half moon side towards the... Spark half, plug tube? Well, on this side, oh, it has both pointing oh. down. Okay, good. Good to notate that. Yeah. Take a look on this side. Make it easier so I don't get in Joe's way. So, do we have this cardboard or something we can set these on? I'll lay him out the way it is on the head just to make life easy. According to Joe, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> so Joe, how many different bolts did it take, size bolts, to remove the stock oil pump? Well, this seems almost like it's a metric because it's a, a 9 is the only one that fits on it in millimeter. 8... Twelve, eight. <laughs> <laughs> ah, port engineering at its finest. So if you get an F-150 motor, the oil pump is different. So I'm going to go ahead and upgrade the oil pump gears and the crank sprocket. We're going to do the drop test, Joe. We get to do the drop, do the drop test, test. The drop do test. All the, the things making that hardened steel break. Exactly. So it shows that it's weak. exactly because you know when you're bouncing it off the limiter, it's like dropping it in concrete. <laughs> So after you get all these bolts out with 15 different sockets, there's two bolts what, underneath, Joe? Or just one on this side? Here, and then there's one oh, under yep. here. I see them right there. So those are 10 millimeter, and you need, if you can see the positioning sucks, so you'll have to, if you're doing this in the car, it's going to be a pain in the ass, but you need like a swivel or a ratcheting wrench on yeah, this side. Yeah, you can get a basic wrench on this side. This one's the tricky one where you got to almost use like a gear wrench style wrench mm -hmm. to get to it. You can tell Joe has the team on his back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So, conventional wrench and a swivel swivel, see if it does the job. I don't wish to shit on anybody. Fuck Look at that. that long pinky. That long pinky. That long pinky. <laughs> That's what happens when you don't have your own tools here. Yep. Okay, all the bolts are out. It's going to come out as a unit because oil pump gears are inside of that sure. right there. With this, that you verify the location of this O-ring because you don't want to double stack them and you don't want to be missing it when you put it back together. Duly noted. This one is missing it. There you go. So, so we got to... We're going to have to either get a new one or reuse this one. All right. Well... This one still has a little bit of spring to it, but maybe something that we order for tomorrow. Yeah, we'll do that. Awesome. We'll get it coming in the morning so we can just... So this is the new oil pump from a Mustang, which you'll need to replace, or yeah, basically replace when it comes to installing aftermarket oil pump gears in the deal. And that's it's as simple as dropping them in. It's not no more rocket science. Now, right, we're gonna do the drop test on these. Trust me. So let me pause it here. So these are stock oil pump gears from a Mustang from a brand new oil pump. Joe and I are gonna do the drop test here shortly. What am I going to replace them with? Well, a lot of you guys, especially recently, have been, oh, you know, there's certain oil pump gears on the market that are super cheap and budget. You know what? I only go with what's proven. Now, MMR or TSS. TSS is insanely backordered because they're shop flooded, basically, from the hurricane. But I'm going to install MMRs. You guys can chirp all you want about other manufacturers. I recommend MMR or TSS nothing else don't ask me about other brands mmr or tss oil pump gears and crank sprocket 
we just retighten the put the oil pump gears in line them up properly retighten the bolts that's pretty much it that's your oil pump gear installation now it has a set of mmr oil pump gears it's going to have an mmr crank sprocket and we'll reinstall and we'll get on with the cams okay this is joe from vmp and we're here doing the oil pump gear challenge stock mustang oil pump gears brand new dropping it from about eye level joe what? hold on go for it Boy, that bounced pretty good. Let's do it again. Let's see how many drops it takes. Hmm. According to the internet, these shits break. Yeah, come on. Oh, that sounded different. Yep. All right, let's take a look. Yep, you're correct. Okay, so in case your block goes about, what, six feet and it drops on the ground, you'll crack your old punk gears. Want to do a little one? See what that guy does? Okay, that ain't gonna break. That ain't gonna break. I just know it's not gonna break. We got one more challenge, Joe. One more challenge. Oh, let's do it. Go ahead. No, she good. Perfect. Moving along, new oil pump is in. MMR crank sprocket in. MMR oil pump gears are in. Mustang GT cams are in. Now we're gonna start putting some chains on. So Joe tells me that on this side of the engine, <laughs> the uh, intake cam at seven and the exhaust. At like 11 at 11 11 30 <laughs> yeah well if you're yeah. thinking of it as opposed to a square it's like kind of like 11 30 correct like this and then make sure that your little bar codes are up. are up the torque spec calls out for two clicks there you go two clicks click click there you go there you go <laughs> f 150 junkyard stuff yeah who cares fuck it so this is the exhaust because mm -hmm. it's the bigger uh phaser and yeah. it gets one link on the alignment dot and the intake gets two gets colored the links. two colored ones. Okay. You should have been a surgeon, Joe. Mm -hmm. Basically compressing the tensioner and putting a pin to keep it compressed to mm -hmm. install it. Yeah. And then once you have it installed and it timed the way that you want it, you pull the pin. Nice. So you see the little like... Teeth? Yeah, the teeth. That keeps this from ratcheting back in. So you have to push that outboard ratchet. Mm-hmm out slide this in and then engage the locking pin once you get it down all the way got it okay joe went ahead and installed the whatever right side this is left side because they reference it from the back yep got it and we're going to go ahead and pull the pin on the tensioner pull the pin see if it explodes Ta -da. there you go chains oh shit this is no joke <laughs> yeah it's tight damn okay so Basically, I didn't want to take you through this process because stuff has to get done, so I can't really stop and watch them work all the time. I got to give them a hand with aligning chains and everything. Just that blue link here lined up with the left, and then blue link down here aligned with. I can't see it from here, but you'd probably be able to see it. Uh, is it lined up, Joe? <laughs> So in order not to bore you guys, um, obviously follow the directions in the Ford install support site, replace the other side, and that's pretty much it for your cam install. So now you guys at least can understand what it takes to install the cams on these cars. Don't go on Facebook or Instagram talking shit about a shop that charge you a certain amount of money to put these in. This shop has to know what they're doing. Obviously there are way better detailed uh, videos out there. I was just showing a very general sense of what it takes to install cams on Coyote engines. If you have an F-150 engine, 11 to 14, it's a good idea to install Mustang GT cams, at least the intake side, to wake it right up. Next time you'll see uh, this motor, it'll have an intake on it. I still have yet to decide on which intake I'm gonna put on it. I'll keep it posted as to what's happening. I have a clutch, transmission, I gotta put the drivetrain together, and start sticking it in the Fairmont. Thanks for listening, guys. I'll talk to you later.